the right or the left? Doesn't matter. Just uh, okay, put it in you, your you, put it you in you your follow, left hand. Try to take follow your. Okay, take one shoe off and put it in our left hand. Oh. Well, I didn't put no shoe powder in there. Hold, let me go back upstairs and put some shoe powder. No, you're fine. Oh, that shoe, yeah, that hand. All right, you ready? So, the, so we're going to play a game. And the scripture tells us in um, 1 Thessalonians uh, chapter 5, verses 12 and 13, it says, Now also we beseech you, brethren, get to know those who labor among you. Recognize them for what they are. Acknowledge and appreciate and respect your leaders. And hold them in very high esteem and most affectionate esteem in appreciation of their work. Be at peace among yourselves. So we're just going to play a little game. This is called Getting to Know You. And I'm going to ask you five questions. And whoever the question um, pertains to, if it's Larry, then Larry, you hold your shoe up. But if it's Monette, then you hold your shoe up. You got it? I know that. All okay. right, you've probably seen this game before. You got it. So the first yeah, question. The feet stick, I haven't seen this game before. <laughs> no, I, first question, who has the smell of your feet? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Dad, right Not here. me. First I have question. shoe powder. Uh, who brought up the idea of marriage first? Think back. <laughs> it had to be me. I, I don't know. I, knew that. I think it was me. Larry put his shoe up. Okay. Which one of you is quick? Go ahead. I'm sorry, Larry. No, no, because I, I had to think for a minute because I, I went through so much in my life back then. I'm sorry it took so long for me to answer. You proposed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Which one of you is quicker to respond to a text message? No. Uh uh, Dad, put your hand down. No, I, oh, no. yeah, yeah. All right. I, I, I get that hand down, Dad. I get that too. I get that too. <laughs> well, <laughs> I get at you. Hi, My whole family jumped on me. That ain't right. Thank you, Larissa and Liberty, for being the true judges. <laughs> That's right. wrong. You see how I, what I had to put up with? All right. Which one of you is more clumsy? Uh, Raise that boot. Raise right, both boots. Uh, Raise both boots. Larissa, what'd you say? I said bomb. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I got some help on that one. All right. Which one of you is more likely to cry at a movie? Mom. We're both of us. Oh, no, we no, both, see, we're both we crying. We both cry. I cry, crazy. man. I, yeah. I've been crying ever since I was a little kid. Every time I saw somebody poor in Africa, I, been, I was a little kid crying. I thought about that yesterday. I said, my yeah. God, God, what, what were you doing to me? Yeah, he's a crier. Me too. <laughs> Which one of you has to get the last word? Lift <laughs> both your boots. Thank you. Thank both you. of us. Stop playing. Both, both of us. No, it's mainly dad. That's equal. See, even Liberty says mainly dad. dad. But yeah. I'll, I'll be, be dad. humble. But I got. But I got to fight for it though. I'll be humble. It's a tie. <laughs> it's listen. Rista um, said it's a tie. <laughs> <laughs> That's because neither one of them, Liberty or Larissa, want to listen. No, I'm just <laughs> no they right. They right. That's no, we... it. I only came up with five questions because I didn't want it to take up too much time. But thank you for your honesty. Thank you for allowing us to get to know you better, as the scripture says, so we can know those who labor wow. among us. That thank was good. You. That was cute. Thank you. Thank you. So now <laughs> I'm going to involve everybody, and I have one question. And the question is why do I thank God for the New Swan family? And I'll go first. Um, I'll start with Monette. Um, I thank God for Monette because when we first met, um, we just hit it off from the spot. We had so many things in common. And for me, it wasn't even about doing ministry together. I just wanted to be her friend. I'm not even going to do this, but I just wanted to be her friend because I mean, she was just so sweet and so welcoming. And then as our relationship grew, not only through us doing ministry together, but I'm talking about as friends. Like, I feel like my heart is safe with her and my secrets are safe with her. And I, I couldn't ask for a better friend that God blessed me with. And so once again, I thank God for her mom for pointing out that picture on the wall that with having you in my life just is part of making it so complete. And I just thank God for you. Thank you. And for Larry, um, I thank God for you because of the example you set and how to love God. Um, I remember driving in the van and you 
tears would be pouring down your eyes in worship. And you'd be like, I can't see, I can't see because you just, you know how to go there with God. You know how to get a prayer through. You know how to worship. You know how to cast your cares on him. And I thank you for who you are in my husband's life. And it's so funny because Larry is into, you know, things like technology and gadgets. And my husband is more into sports and things like that, like that. But yet they're the best of friends, even through their oppositeness. <laughs> and Larissa, I just thank God for you for so many reasons. You're just, you're so sweet. And I say this all the time, like everything that you set your hands to in life will prosper. You're gifted in everything that you do. And you're such a good friend to my girls. And I'm just excited to see what your future holds. And I know that as long as you stay on God's path and in his plan for you, success in every area awaits you. And I'm just thankful for you. And for Liberty, where are you at? Hiding. Liberty just makes me happy. From the time she was born, she had the cutest cry. She had the cutest laugh. And now she's just cuteness in a ball. Like you just, you epitomize joy and happiness to me. And I thank God for you. And I know that you're going to continue to do things to make your, your parents proud of you. And you're going to do well in school and do great things. Amen. And last, but of course, not least, Larry. Guppy Guppy. Guppy Guppy. <laughs> I just thank God for Larry. Larry can always just bring you through any situation just because of who he is and Larry being himself. And I couldn't imagine life without Larry. He's just Larry. Amen. <laughs> and so we thank God. So I've gone. Do you want to go next or do you want to go last? I'll go last. Okay. Apostle's going to go last. So according to my screen, I think we have Miss Betty next. So Miss Betty, it's your turn. Wow. <laughs> Can you get it? Yep. Miss Betty, okay. slow now. Yes. Well, it's okay. Well, I hadn't really uh, known this for a long, long period of time, but uh, since we've been in freedom in Pottstown, I got to know you a little better as you came in uh, the fourth Sunday of the month, and uh, and also uh, I like the way Pastor. Uh, Mary, I praise and worship God in spirit and truth. He let the Holy Ghost move on him. He prays with all his heart and soul to the Lord. And then God fills him up with the Holy Spirit. And you can see the Lord in his life all the way. And uh, let me see. Pastor Monette, I don't even know you that well either because you came the fourth Sunday most of the time when I was there. But you're always like very fashionable because I like fashions, you know, in the past. <laughs> and uh, always have different hairdos and different bags, you know, matching up real well. And I like that about you. And also how you praise to worship the Lord on the, on the piano to worship from the heart of God. Um, I, th I thank the Lord for that. And, um, and also Pastor um, Larry, I know he enjoys sweet potato pies. And I like to, um, to make them <laughs> when I have time and have have the um, strength on hand. So I always Amen. look forward to if I have Pastor um, uh, Apostle Park, if I had a pie, and I always try to get one for him also, because I know he enjoys it too. And I like people to be happy when I cook something and it's pleasing to their taste buds too. So I thank the Lord for that. And... Uh, don't really know Melissa that well, but I know she, I really encouraged her when she went to the school, graduate from, I think, school, high school, and then to college, I think, in Philly, I'm not sure, but anyhow, I, a little time knowing her, not a lot of conversation, but knowing that it's part of your family, and also for uh, Liberty, I, I see how she's really grows from this time in Pottsdale as she's maturing. And she seems to love to praise the Lord along with you as a family. And that's good to see it. And also, uh, Larry, uh, little Larry Jr., I thank God he seems to communicate with the things of the Lord. And uh, I remember the time he was so sick, uh, it was an urgent prayer that he had to go to the hospital. And uh, my heart went out to him. And the Lord, he's there moving about. And uh, 
Loving the Lord, so I thank the Lord for that. So that's a blessing on this whole family of yours. And then meeting your mother um, over the internet, I only met her one time when she came to church uh, one time. And then um, I see how the Lord is moving on uh, Sister Jeanette, I guess I should call her. Um, and I believe the Lord has a word in her mouth for this season. Uh, you can see the fire of God when she speaks all over her face. I know she anointed by the Lord for words to come in the future. So I wish you wow. both um, 18th anniversary with success and more uh, power of God moving in you and more miracles coming through your finances and through your family and whatever your hands do in Jesus' name. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Welcome. Wow. All right, Deacon Denise. She doubled up on us. Oh, okay. She has to see her audio. There it is. <laughs> All right. Do you want us to come back to you? Okay. All right. Hope. All right. It's not hard. It's so easy. But first of all, I just want to thank you guys so much because I think of that song. I heard it this morning. Uh, Marvin Sapp, I never would have made it. And I know he was talking about God, but it just applied to you guys. And I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry because y'all taught me to be strong. But I just thought about that song and it was just like never would have made it without you guys. So I know when I first came to you guys, it was just through prayer, but I went to a church that closed down and they were just so artificial that I was like, Lord, when I want to know about you, I don't want to see all of this. And so I need somebody in my life that represents who you are. And he brought me to you guys. And that's been the best thing he honestly have ever done in my life. He heard my heart, he met my needs. But as far as individually, it's so hard because you're as one and it's hard to really say, but if I had to say like, mom, you're compassionate. And I used to always say, are you always this nice? Like, do you ever get mad? Do you ever get angry? And I thought it was fake at first, you know what I'm saying? I was like, this is not possible, but you've been that way from day one. And it was just more so now as I've gotten grown in the Lord, it's your heart. Your heart is genuine and sincere. So some things don't even bother you. And if they do, you don't never let it affect you and your walk with God and all of that. So I admire that about you, your classiness. And even when, you know, there's weaknesses in my area, you always make me strong. You always help me in those areas that I don't have, don't know, and you don't make me feel bad because I don't know. So I love that about you. And um, uh, dad, I don't even know, like, mm. <laughs> so I don't know but I never had a dad in my life and I don't know God just brought me you and you're like the best dad I've ever had in my whole life in just a short amount of time um you motivate me you always be like well, go handle that. And when you say go handle that, it's just like, okay, Lord, what is it that you want me to do? And you're my motivating force. And mama, thank you so much for just allowing dad and I to have that, you know, that relationship of that father that I had never had. And God gave him, gave that to me. Um, it's funny because there's so much inside of me of what I want to say about you guys. But um, I just thank you so much. You're my motivating force. And when I used to see how people, not how they treated you or anything like that, but I just knew that y'all were so much more like that it that Apostle was talking about. You know, y'all were my it. And I just admire you, y'all are my it. And I think one of the things that was so remarkable when I first met you guys, my neighbor, she, um, she went to a church and her son was about to kill himself and she was like oh the pastor said i can't pray don't pray for me because i'm not a faithful tither and i was like what i never heard that before and so when i called you guys y'all reached out to them and just loved on them and was there and that was just like like that love thing is not just a word it's an action and y'all showed that in such an early stage of my walk with you guys and I was like wow that's amazing and y'all have been so caring to so many people and when I say that y'all my motivating force because when I was in the world money wasn't really an issue it was just it didn't matter and 
I thought that I had to give everything up. Like you pop, you brought me into knowing that you can be successful as a Christian. Cause I thought I had to give everything up and just love the Lord. So you showed me that. So even just with that, what I say, my motivating force, like y'all reason why I get up every day, the reason why I go hard, because I want to be able to sow into you guys in the ministry. And, um, I don't know y'all just my motivating force and I love y'all so much and my circle used to be big but just the love that y'all showed me and y'all there for me it got so small it's real small and it's just like y'all are it y'all are it that's all I can say and when you think about that it it's like that's it period you know there's nothing else there's nothing more like y'all are my it and so I just love you guys so much. Thank you for helping me grow, be a better person each and every day. And I thank you for your correction. When you tell me, I know it's coming from a good place. And I look at myself through self inventory and you guys have made me grow so much and y'all have such a good listening ear. Y'all don't judge me if I do this or do that, but y'all always correct me and lead me in the right direction. So when, again, when I first asked the Lord to have a man and God in my life that represents you. He did that. And he's been doing that from day one. And I thank you guys so much. Y'all couldn't be any better. And y'all not no better. Like I said, y'all that it, that, that period, that's it. It's a fact that it's just like, it's no more, you know? So I love you guys so much. And Larissa, I admire you because when, if I had a mother and father like yours, and growing up, I would be way better, right? Like, I mean, I had to wait until I got older to get to be a better person because of them. So for you and just to see how God has grown you with them and with the love, I admire that about you. You know, you always had a servant heart. You had such a sweet spirit and just your motivation and how you just do things of excellence where you got that from them. So I love that about you so much. And Liberty, I always call you my lady of Liberty where you like the Statue of Liberty, like you hold things down like you have that mantle and you could just walk in and so I love your your personality you don't compromise and you know who you are and I love that about you and of course you're a cheerleader so we go hand in hand with that you're like you know I'm like the big mom cheerleader and you're the little one and I'm always rocking for you so I love you for that and just your motivation you put anything put your mind to anything you do it successfully if it's softball cheerleading you know what I admire you for that and Larry I just love the anointing that is on your life. Like, you know, you hear God and I thank God that you hear my spirit because sometimes I have to be honest when say, or if I'm feeling, I'll say, use my brother say, I don't know if he's on the line or not, but I used to be like, oh, he just irks me. And then like Larry just go over and punch him. And I'd be like, okay, thanks, Larry. You know what I'm saying? So it's so funny because he always feel me when, you know, I feel, and even when I'm rejoicing in the Lord, he just comes over and lays his hands on me. So I know he feels me. So I love that spiritual connection about Larry. And I just love you guys. And y'all the greatest thing that ever happened into my life. And like I said, with that Marvin Sapp, I never would have made it without you guys. So I love you. Thank you. And just keep on doing what you're doing. And this is the best anniversary, but I thought the last one was the best. So it gets better and better each year. And that's just how God is doing in your life. You're getting better and better each year. I don't even know how you can get any better, but this was a great celebration. And just mom, Cordy, I thank you so much because when you said, look at the song about being grateful and um, it was another song that you pray uh, play. I thought about them because usually I'm thinking about God and it just really brought me to tears because yes, I am grateful for them. Yes, um, never. I mean, it was just so amazing. So the worship today was absolutely good because I was worshiping you guys and y'all taught me about the difference between worship and honor. And I know the difference and I respect you guys. I love you guys so much. And I want to be, want y'all to be proud of what I do. And when I'm going to just be lastly on this mom, you're my spiritual mother because my mom, I love her to death. But if I led by her example, I would be who I was long time ago. So if you being my mom and just showing me some motherly things that I did not know about myself to help me grow, I wouldn't be who I am today to even be a good mom to my son. Amen. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Beautiful. Getting gooder and gooder. Getting gooder and gooder. I know that ain't right English, but it's gooder and gooder. <laughs> God is so good. All right, April. Hi, guys. Hi. Hey. <laughs> I'm glad you can hear me because my computer kept cutting out. So um, I just want to 
say, I'm, I remember the first time I met you guys um, in the hotel during that blizzard. And I will never forget how openly mom was. Mom was like, oh, you're so beautiful. And she knows, she knows my family, but she's, she's so like loving and caring. And she's, she's just got that beautiful outshining personality. And I just love her absolutely adorableness. Um, and dad, oh my gosh, as much as you get on my husband. <laughs> um, I love you, dad, because you really are a true, true dad. You are a true dad to us. Um, I, we appreciate you so much. I can't believe it's been, what, 15 years since you married us? 15 years? You have married us. And it's truly been uh, up and down. <laughs> I told myself I wasn't gonna cry. Um, <sighs> and you guys still love us. And you just show us how to be a wonderful married couple and how to love God even more. Uh, and how to be patient and kind with our children, how to love people when they say stuff about us, how to respect ourselves and how to love ourselves as more. Um, I appreciate you guys so much. We love you guys so much. And I thank God for you guys. Woo. Every morning I pray for you guys. And I know mom, I know how it does at work. <laughs> so I pray for you a lot more. Thank you. I know how the job is. Oh, and dad too, when you have to deal with them children on your van. Um, but I thank you guys for pushing me to now officially working at home with my daycare, with my daycare. And I can't wait till it's big enough where we're gonna be sharing it with the whole world because this is for you guys. This is what I'm pushing for. Um, Larissa, my ride or die little girl right there. Met you since you were seven years old. Learned how to do sign language in class. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. You're such a beautiful, beautiful soul. Um, you keep pushing, honey. I'm so proud of you. Such, I feel like such a big sister. I'm like, yay, like, I'm so proud of you for everything you're doing, like your videos and stuff. But I'm very proud of you and I love you and I thank God for you. Liberty, <laughs> you're such a beautiful, beautiful smile. Yes, I see you. <laughs> My love bug. Um, I'm so proud of you, how you, you're in class and you're, when you're in class with me in the, in, in the mornings with the children, you're so strong. And, and the more and the more I look at it, I see the, the mom and dad image in, in you. And you're always like, I don't think so, but you are. The voices you say, the things you say and how much you love God and how you're starting to really starting to recognize who he is. And you're coming into your own personality is absolutely gorgeous. I think you're beautiful and I truly, truly love you. And I thank God for having another little sister. Larry, guppy, guppy. <laughs> Larry, you showed me how to love my sons when I have three special needs kids. You showed me how to love them unconditionally. No, and you showed me how to be strong with them and just to love them and to support them for whatever they, what they're trying to do. So I just wanna say, I thank you guys and I appreciate you and I love you. And I can't wait for many, many more years cause we're not going nowhere. We're planted, we're staying and we're here for always. Love you guys. Amen. Love you too. Love you as well. Thank you. Thank you, April. We're gonna go to um, Nikki next cause I think she has a project to work on. So go ahead, Nick. Hey, Nick. Wow. Hi. Can you hear me? Nikki. 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 Nik
Um, gosh, I'm, um, <laughs> I'm bad with talking, but uh, I guess I can just say how much I appreciate you both for always welcoming in your home and all the good times that we've had, like vacations and you feel like second parents to me. And I know like Larissa, like living in our house, it was like my parents were second parents to her. So I just feel like we're all just basically one big family. <laughs> so that's Amen. always been nice. And I really appreciate having you guys in my life and as my parents' best friends and everything. And then Larissa as well, being my best friend since I can't even remember when we met. I don't remember how long ago that was, but having her as a best friend, even though we only got to see each other sometimes once a month on four Sundays, but always having the relationship of being like the closest I've ever been with someone has always been amazing. And when I see her now, even if it's every few months, we just pick up right where we left off, which is just amazing. And to have a friend who has parents just like mine. So when we can't do things that other people could do in school, because we were <laughs> raised right and just raised different, it's nice to have someone who understands and I don't Amen. know. That's always been great. And Liberty is just like a mini Larissa. And she's like, her and Mary are both like both things to me as well. And watching Liberty grow up, I'm like, oh my goodness, she is Larissa. It's so, it's just so great to watch her grow up because I remember her as a baby. But, and whenever I call on the phone and hear Larry saying my name, I'm guessing my name is what I take it as. But I, <laughs> it's always nice to talk to him too. So, <laughs> I'm just appreciative to have you guys in my life. It, it brings me a lot of joy and laughter and more memories than I can even think of right now. So I'm just thankful for all of your whole family. So. Thank you. Thank you. Nikki. We love Thank you. We love you. <laughs> Denise, are you ready? Whew. Overwhelming. Sorry, you guys are going to hear a noise because these kids like to talk. But, um... I am so thankful you guys are my spiritual family and you know it helps that we do kind of resemble. I hear it all the time. People think that me and Larissa are related. Somebody asked me, is that your daughter? I'm like, no, that's not a daughter, but thank you. But um, mom, I just love you. You're like, you're so sweet, but you're stern at the same time and one thing I'll never forget is the time where you just kind of like grabbed a hold of me and you're like, fix your posture. Mm. And it was just, I don't know, it just really woke me up, you know, because sometimes we're not aware of how we do things or what we're doing in that moment. And I just, you know, so thankful for you. Um, you're definitely a mom to me and you keep it real and i love that about you and i know i've said it before you probably won't remember but the first time that i've had an encounter with you guys was at the hotel i was back in my 20s and i was out there you know doing my thing i wasn't really trying to be in church but i was back and forth and you guys were always destined to be in my life and even at April's wedding, we sat at the same table. You were pregnant with Liberty. So we were always around each other some kind of way. And so I'm just so thankful um, for the realness. Dad, um, you guys, oh my gosh, that was the year that so many things happened. Um, I lost my job and I started coming to church um and i lost my stepfather that year in april and the following year my biological father I never had a strong relationship with any um males in my life and it was really hard for me to talk to dad about anything because i wasn't used to that but now i'm so comfortable you know, having that relationship with your dad, um, being able to talk to you and know that you hear me and know that you're going to tell me the truth. Even if I don't want to hear it, I know that I can come to you and hear the truth, hear it whether I want to or not, but I know you're going to keep it real with me. And I just, um, so thankful you guys, you know, you love my kids and 
you know, my daughter, she's like, um, she calls you pop pop. And, you know, I just, I love that, you know, and, you know, I tell the kids, you know, you can call them pop pop, you know, and people, I you remind me of both my fathers. I mean, I have like, it's like the best of both. I have both my fathers in one, like the timing was so perfect. Like look wise, you remind me of my father, you know, spiritually, you remind me of my stepfather. And I'm just so thankful to have the both of you, you know, and just know that you guys are so real and you're so loving. And I just appreciate you so giving and um, you're giving of yourselves, you know, even no matter how tired you may be, you know, and you help me and push me. And, you know, mom's like, you need to be singing and da, da, da. And, I have to say at one time, Liberty remind me of you. She was like, so when are you going to start singing? And I'm like, I turned and looked away like, who's she talking to? I'm like, she, she's like, yeah. I'm like, okay. So she does remind me of the two of you in one. And she's like, I don't even know what to call you. It's like, uh, she was telling people like, I'm like her aunt, I guess. I don't know. But I see her as more of a little sister slash niece. You know, if you would, I don't know, it might be a weird combination, but just that's just how I feel. And I just love um, her strength and liberty. You are beautiful. It doesn't matter the people that you're around and how you feel. You are a beautiful young woman. Don't forget that. Don't forget it. You are you're athletic. You're beautiful. You're talented. Don't ever forget that. Amen. And she makes me laugh comes over here because she knows she's going to be fed. She likes the food and she likes the cupcakes. So she come over here, you know, her and I need a shirt for parties, birthday parties. Say, I'm only here for the cake. So Liberty's going to work on that. We're going to get shirts, okay? And, um, you know, so, and Larissa, it's like, she's like my younger sister. And um, I do, I need to do better as far as reaching out to her more and making sure that she's good making sure that, you know, Larissa, that you're doing what you need to be doing. You're so talented. You got all these gifts. You remind me of me. You know, you have all these gifts. God has gifted you with your hands. Um, you got this art thing going. You can sing, you know. So just keep on doing what you're doing. I know it's easy to get caught up into doing music for, like, the world and stuff, but God has gave you a gift to do it for him, to glorify him. You could do, you know, an R&B type for the Lord. You know, just give him honor and glory because you can do it. You're talented. Use your gifts wisely. And little Larry, Larry, has me laughing out. Yep, I'm talking about you, Larry. Did I hear my day? Larry be praying for people, be praying for me, lay hands. Larry is so smart. He knows, and I just love, like, when I come over and he's like, you know, he, you know, makes sure that I feel invited, but then when it's time to go, it's time to go. He's like, you can leave now. He's like, bye. So I just love all of you. I'm like, I'm not going to cry today. I'm not doing it, but I love y'all so much. And just the fact that you've always been a part of my life and how you've just been so accepting and been there for me and my family who's helped me, you know, when I'm moving and all that. And, you know, just things that I don't think other pastors would do, you know, to help you with things like that. So I'm just real appreciative and I love you all. We love you, love too. you as well. Thank you. Well, somebody say amen. Um, amen. What I'm going to do is I, I brought a special guest on, but before he goes, I'm just going to get out the way. Um, because you all summed it up like you two are not just um faithful to us in ministry i like what my daughter said uh nicole you guys are family um and and it's just hard to find faithfulness in ministry and then be able to also be best friends because that's what y'all are to us um nicole said it best they know because we talk about y'all all the time whether y'all around or not we vacation together matter of fact we got somebody on the screen who we vacation with not vacate but went out to new york with um but the thing i love about y'all whenever i need y'all the most y'all always there like i had a situation 
where I had to go out of town. And I was supposed to do a wedding and y'all stepped right in to marry fast Eddie Chambers and his beautiful wife. Um, little things like that. And that we can talk about serving all the time. Y'all do so many things that nobody knows about. And and like even with Larissa living with us, um, we treated Larissa like she was her own daughter. She probably like sometimes ain't want to hear what I had to say, but I would sit them down because I love them all the same. But what I love about you, Larissa, I'm not going to say a lot about your mom and dad because our relationship speaks louder than our words. Yeah, like, y'all y'all already know because that's all y'all talking about. But Larissa, what I love about you is you're resilient. Like you 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 know you know how to fall but get back up and to see you now at Temple and I know you're going to graduate it's something in you that you may go down but you get up and I love the scripture that don't rejoice over me yet thy enemy though I fall I will arise and what y'all don't know just like with her dad I sometimes have to say some hard things to him I would say it to her as well was when you love somebody you speak to the truth but here's what I love the most about her she knows we love her and she knows she's loved not only by us by y'all but Keep going, Larissa. We are cheering for you. We're pulling for you. Um, you know, you're just awesome. And just just keep God first. And you know, I know you hear that all the time from your dad, but I'm always going to say that to you too, because the world will try to pull off of your gifts. All right. But we're going to continue to pray that the anointing of God flows through you because God needs you. Liberty, you like, like Nicole said, you, you like my other little daughter. Amen. I just watch you grow. I'll never forget that time you got in trouble at the beach, girl. No, no spoil yourself. And we all jumped up on you. Your mom was the only one trying to save you. But from that time to now, the way you mature and grew up, you got a lifetime ice cream contract with me. Whenever you want ice cream, not Eddie Chambers. Eddie, Eddie gonna make you eat that vegan ice cream and that soy ice cream. He'll make you walk all through New York. But you can get any kind of ice cream. Baby. With a gallon of water. Huh? With a gallon of water. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know yeah, with yeah. Well, we'll get to hell. I'm going to help stay here. I'm setting him up. But I want you to know we love your maturity. You're really grown. And you know what I love the most? Nobody speaks to me the way you do when you say, hi, apostle. <laughs> Girl, you can give me your cash app right now, and I'll cash it. You, you just got a way to say Hey, Apostle. Oh, my God. Cash at her right now. <laughs> it's just a way. Can you say it real quick? Hey, Liber hey, hey Liberty. Hi, Apostle. Oh, cash at right now. Cash at right now. You're getting the cash at right now. But I love I love her. And then, little Larry, I ain't going to talk. Everybody know me and your love. Guppy, guppy, and the other word I taught you. I ain't teaching that. Um, <laughs> He gets in trouble every day. I'm on the phone with Big Lag trying to snatch the phone. I got to tell Big Lag, Eddie, I got to tell Big Lag, don't get jealous of me and your son's relationship. He like, I'm on the phone. No, man, let him talk, man. But I love that boy. That's my man. We talk every day. Larry, I tell y'all. Amen. Guppy, guppy. Guppy, guppy. Guppy, 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 guppy. So I want to say y'all know we love y'all. But I want to uh, bring my main man on. Um, Fast Eddie, I called him because I know how much Larry and Monette loves him, but I know how much he loves them. Uh, he ain't like some of these other big time athletes and celebrities. He's so humble. Just he, he mind me, him and Larry could be brothers. I'm, I'm, and I mean that <laughs> with their, because they're so humble. And whenever I ask Eddie or Larry to do anything, they never say no. I called him last minute. He got, I know he may have to leave, so I just text him, hey man, whenever you can get on, Come on, so I want to bring him up next. But for y'all, this is my main man. He's like my, not like, he is my little brother. Fast Eddie Chambers. Amen. Amen. What's going on, man? <laughs> Hold on. Can you unmute? You got to unmute. There, there you go. go. We got you. I'm not really too savvy. How you gonna do? How you gonna do Pastor Lane like that, man? And say he's like my, like. I hope you know. I hope you ain't saying we look alike. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, like that. Just, you don't want to look like me. You know what I mean? I took too many punches to the face. You know what I mean? <laughs> you look good with it, buddy. You good? You, you hear me? Yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, you hear me. You can hear me. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I was thinking about that uh, whole ice cream trip up in New York. It was a real, it was a fun trip. Crazy trip. But I was enjoying myself up there with y'all, man, going around looking for vegan ice cream. I know that wasn't something y'all wanted to do that at that moment, you know what I mean? But, but it was good. 
also want to talk a little bit about how when uh, Bishop couldn't make it to do the wedding and how you guys stepped in and didn't miss a beat because I knew you, my man, I knew you was going to take care of me properly, man, and do what it was, do whatever it took for me to do You know what I mean? At times, but we're not going to look on the negative. We're going to think about the positive that it brought. You know what I mean? And and I thought he was right there to help keep everything, you know, without missing a beat. So, man, I really appreciate you, man. Just uh, you guys being a part of my lives, a part of our lives, me and my wife now, as as we've been going now, what on? But I'm been years of marriage, 2017, so we've been going on four years now, and been together for five, almost ten. So, and it's going to be strong. This is you guys are. I'm only hoping that we'll have a success. And, and, and <laughs> That you guys had and being in you know, ministry for 18 years is no, is no, nothing easy to do. You know what I mean? So, you know, I, I really appreciate y'all being a part of, I guess, being a part of our lives. Of course, Bishop Park draining them threes over my head the first time I actually played when he making me feel like I wasn't even there. You know what I mean? I tried to take that defense up on him and he hit me with the shoulder and took a little step back and knocked it down on me like that. You know, that's all right. I ain't even had anything <laughs> I still think he's the greatest shooter I ever, I ever stood in front of. So, you know, it's, you know what I mean? Next time next time we get on the court, I think I got a couple steps from you now. It ain't going to be no problem. But, uh, no, nah, this is y'all doing, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all deserve it. I'm, I'm, I'm just only hoping that y'all can have 18 more just like this last 18 and that I can be there for every step. You know what I mean? I appreciate y'all. Appreciate you as well, appreciate man. Appreciate you too. Tell Tom Arisa, hi. Hey, you know, we, we, we need to be in touch with y'all a lot more. We need, we need some help sometimes. You know what I mean? We need to, we need to do our business. You know what I'm saying? Hey, let's and let's get time. the date. Let's get a, let's do some fellowship. Let us know. Yeah. All of us, the apostle, with all of us can get together. Let us know. You know yeah. I shouldn't have a man from like that. I ain't trying to disrespect y'all. I'm ugly enough. So let's just. <laughs> you know, better? Right, cool. There you go. Well, you're good, man. Appreciate you. Thank you. <laughs> and, surprise, oh, surprise. So before you go, <laughs> Eddie. <laughs> Oh, before you go, my daughter, my niece had a basketball game at the Mohegan Sun last night. So I thought oh, about you when you had your boxing match up there in Connecticut, the Mohegan Sun. So, man, I, I wonder how did she feel? How did she feel in there? Like, I mean, I know that's yeah, a, yeah. She she was, she was getting numbers. She looked like her she looked like her uncle shooting threes. But <laughs> yeah, knocking them down, that's, knocking that's them down. But we appreciate you getting on. I know. Uh, no problem. I gotta do this. I gotta be a part of this. This is something big. This thing you know, did think for me, you know, when you know some, some other people wouldn't have, you know what I'm saying? Y'all really uh y'all really uh, part, like preach the word you're a part of it too. So you, you did a good job and uh you know being a part of my life and helping you know me and my wife and everything continue this uh Bishop Larry this is their 18th anniversary I'm on the, I'm on the Zoom. She's here. She's here now. Hi. She's still on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them we said hi. We got to get together. Yeah. Thank Amen. you. We'll get together. We'll get the fellowship. I put it together to get us all together. Yes, yeah, we please. Need to. Whenever you got to go, you can go. If you can hang on, fine. If you got to go, you can go whenever. But I know you got busy time. Yeah, man. I, I got just finished the workout. I'm going to have to probably go. I got to go deliver some other stuff. I'm always working 24 hours on the go, man. It's okay. Well, appreciate but your time. time. Thank but you. I, hey, hey, but I got time for y'all always. Trust me. Appreciate it. Appreciate Thank you. you. so much. Thank, Thank you, man. It means a lot. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you. Surprise, yeah, surprise. Surprise. Look surprise. at right here. Surprise. I heard the whole sermon this morning. Oh. <laughs> We're not done yet. <laughs> Oh, it's so beautiful. Larissa snuck in too. Come here. I'm talking about Larissa. Get on the camera. You're talking about I'm driving. Oh, she can too. All right. So, all right. So, say the question is I thank God for the new swads because. Wait, I'm mute. Hold on. There you go. It's it's so much like. They, they helped me to grow in to ministry. And, and like I said yesterday, it's really hard to just celebrate them and not celebrate the whole covenant because I see where dad get his fire from. 
And you know, I you know, I called them after service yesterday and explained because certain things I just you just didn't have I just didn't have enough time to explain situations. You know, I was just letting them know when you see it from the flesh, it you see it from a different perspective. But once I heard, you know, Apostle Devin and um Mr. Broken Barrel and Nick speak, it just changed everything. You know, I know that, you know, the Holy Spirit was in them. And you got to understand, I was still walking in the flesh. So to see the different, like, you know, us men, we know what it is in the street. Like, we know when people are real and when they're not real. And to see the realness in them and in their walk, it, it made me want to change my life. So my celebration to them is that when I met them, it made me, you know, when I started submitting, it made me want to change. You know, it made me even, you know, even to today, like, I always, like, I never try to lie to moms and dads. If anything, if I don't want them to know, I won't say it. So, it, 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 it I remember Hope one day, Um, that's right, Hope, you started it. She called me a snitch. Because moms and dads, but it, 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 it wasn't nothing bad. I just felt a certain way. So it really wasn't about hope. I just felt, you know, at that time for them to leave um, us in charge the way they did and hope was running, not that she did anything wrong. I never wanted to change. I wanted to be just like if moms and dad was still there. You know what I'm saying? And I'll never forget she called me a snitch and, and you know, and, and it bothered me. But I, I, I want moms and dad to always trust me, whether they there or not, to do what's right. So that's why I celebrate them, and that's what I think about them because I never want to lie to them. And moms and dad, no, I come to them with things that the average man probably would never ever say to their um apostle and pastor. But you know, I always want to be on the right side of things, you know what I'm saying? Even though if it's going to hurt my flesh. And, and it, it, you know, that, that that's what they do to me, you know, all the time. Like, I always say when I want the truth, I lay it down to both of them. And and like I said, I say things that they have, you know, and, and they trust me. And for them to even trust me around their family, they, their mothers, their daughters, and you, th th that's, a, that's a blessing. I can't do nothing but have the most respect for them. And, you know, and whoever don't like it, whatever. And clear the record, the snitch is somebody that does the crime with you. <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> you know, but I just, but it, it lined me and hope up. You, you got to understand. And, and I don't want her to take it out of context because look where she stand today. And I, want her to, and, I want her to, and I want her to feel the same way. If I'm out of place, I need her to check me. Yeah, you're good. You, you know what I'm saying? No, but, but that, that's the ministry that I, I want us to have because that's the ministry we belong to. Right. Like we, we you know, right is, is our first priority. Right. And for them to trust us is our first priority, you know? So that's why I celebrate moms and dads. It didn't sound too good, but it's good because I mean I did call you a snitch, but I remember just <laughs> that when you know how you know when you're on the dad and I used to get to be able to do some things that you normally don't do, but really all it was was our worship where we played hard in the paint. We were like a party. Yeah, yeah. If I'm not mistaken, that's what I could think. And I mean it could be something else. And but that's what it that's, was. Like, that's okay, what, but it was know, different to me. Here, but let's just play <laughs> this amount, of, you know, music or whatever the case may be. So if it's something you, else, right, I don't know what you're talking about. But that's all right, son and daughter. <laughs> all right, son and daughter. That's why Larry will right. always be beating you up. Family family. Family. I be feeling a certain kind of way about you. How about that? Oh my gosh, it's straight up family. Oh, hold up, Grandpa, Grandpa coming in. Uh -oh. Grandpa coming in. Uh -oh. That's why Larry always beat you up, cause snitches get stitches. Move it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, say. Love you, man. Love you, too. Thank you. Love y'all.
Love you too, brother. Love, Love you. Love you too. Oh. Uh, uh, Angela, I don't know if you can hear us or not. Angela. All right. Uh, is 717, is that Mars? Yeah, it's 1208. Mars, we're unmuting you. I don't know if you're able to talk. You have to unmute. can't, that's fine. Okay. Well, maybe if they can come might, yeah, we'll, we'll find might be That's, um, uh, what's his name? From Hello? 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 Hi, Good hey, I'm so sorry. My, I thought my, okay. Anyway, <laughs> praise the Lord, everybody. Um, forgive me for no, no faith yet. I promise you I'm getting a phone. I promise, but move it on. I just want to thank God for, um, the new smile. I want to thank God for my new mom, my new father. I know when I first met them, it was at, um, Applebee's and I had no clue they was going to be my next leader. You know, um, but I I truly thank God for them. Um, I'm I'm gonna rush through this because I don't want to be long. But and I want to thank God for their children because, you know, I have been in a situation that, um, the the the, the pastor was a, a good person. She was a good person, but her kids wasn't. You know, but I thank God for the kids how they was just so welcoming. You know, and I just want to thank God for them. I thank God for little Larry and his gift and his um sensitive towards the spirit, you know, and don't fool y'all so little Larry gonna be known one of these days. I saw that in the spirit, but um, I just want to thank God for everybody. I just want to thank God for my 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 family and he still they still is like speaking into my life and telling me things that I really didn't know about myself. And it's just so special. It's just special to me. I can't really other what I feel guys, but I really love y'all so much. And I'm so grateful for y'all. Y'all be blessed. We love you too. Thank you, Mars. All right, Mom Jeanette. Oh, Angela, Angela. Angela. Hi, Angela. Oh, okay. you. Can you hear me? Yes. You can hear me? Yeah. can hear you, honey. Uh, okay. So I'm driving. I didn't know y'all can hear me before. So I just want to say I love y'all. Thank y'all for always being in my life. Um, even when I leave and come back, y'all always accept me. No questions asked. Y'all just continue to show the love of God and continue to be a blessing in my life. So I want to say thank you. Happy anniversary. And I love you all. Man, we love, we love you. you too. Thank you, Angela. Thank you, Angela. Mom Jeanette. And live and living color. <laughs> In the flesh. I wanted to surprise them they today did. for their 19th, uh, 18th. 18th anniversary. Yeah, you surprised us, all right. Um, they didn't know I was coming. And I was like, who is sneaking in the window? No, I'm since, <laughs> since, since Saturday, I've been trying to get here. She kept saying, what y'all doing today? Of, no yeah, wonder every day I you. asked her, what you doing today? <laughs> you going anywhere? Right now. <laughs> but thank you for bringing us together with Get the parts, out, I tell you. Uh-oh. I'm just so grateful. Okay. My heart is filled I just want to talk in tongues. Thank you, Jesus. I just want to thank God for them. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. God for my daughter, the life she has lived and married, apostle, my son-in-law, the life he lives. And they've been together the whole time. And I tell you, they truly worked for the Lord. I have never heard them tell me not one argument they had, not one, not one. And being a mom and, you know, know your kid, if even if they were around me, I know something is wrong, but they just stay quiet. They don't, I've never seen them argue or fight or call each other, you know, they they showed the they walked the walk that God wants us to walk. 
I don't see any vain glory in them or strife, malice, you know, all the things of Satan. I don't never seen that they acted that out. I only seen the walk of Christ, being humble, patient, supported, being a doer of the word. And all those years they went from Williamsport in the snow, in the rain, in the storm. They never missed one. They never missed one. And then even though they don't have a, a lot of um, a, lo uh, a lot of people in their congregation, but it sure is millions. Your heart speaks million. Your look, you don't even know y'all can move, move mountains because your hearts are all the same. You're on one accord, mm -hmm. and that's all you need is people on one accord. God said if um two together he's in the midst of it and, and you respect him and you love him and I appreciate that I really do and I just think um, my daughter she's my mom <laughs> <laughs> when I wasn't saved and she was smaller even from eight years old she always helped me when I was down, always kind. And I don't really believe I had to spank her or anything because she, she didn't do anything wrong. You know? She was too she, scared. People, she did things wrong. <laughs> she was too scared. I know what Apostle Park did that. Apostle, <laughs> you're talking about the college? <laughs> <laughs> You didn't know. No, you did <laughs> something wrong. <laughs> what Listen. <the? laughs> Listen. I just thank God for you two. And I, I just thank God for my daughter. It, it's just so amazing. It's something that God, how excellent. Mm. How excellent. How excellent. It's his name, and these are his people, his name. How excellent. How excellent. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Father. Continue blessing and shaking them in the people you want them to be, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Protect them. Give them more wisdom. Let them be sharper as two as a sword. Hallelujah. Pierce people hearts, honey. In the name of Jesus, piercing the people hearts. Hallelujah with your word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That every word they speak will go yes. forth where they send it to, Lord. Thank in you, the Jesus. name of Jesus, Jesus. continually, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Let them be like Peter when they walk. People get healed, Lord. Yes, Hallelujah. Bring them up into a new generation. Uh, Demission, Father, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Continue giving them eyes to see you with, Lord. Lord, ears to hear you with, slow to speak and slow to anger, Father, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, let them not get weary and well-doing, hallelujah, if you faint not, you'll reap, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, glory Come too far now to leave. In the name of Jesus. Blessing all over the world. Hallelujah. Touch, 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 touch. In the name of Jesus. And that you may prosper. Hallelujah. Everything you could think of, I ask. Hallelujah. His ways are not your ways. His thoughts are not your thoughts. You can't imagine what he has for you. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. 
Thank you for this opportunity. Oh, like everyone else, we just say In the name of Jesus, amen. Hallelujah, glory. Thank you, amen. Thank you, amen. Thank you, amen. Thank you, amen. She came here and took the shot with a shotgun. Remember, remember apostles? They take the shot. She took the shot, but she used a shotgun. <laughs> Oh, we just dude. wanted you to just the whole purpose was just for you to know how fruitful you really are and how loved and appreciated you really are. Hallelujah. And this is just a, a very, very small portion of the lives that you've impacted, that you've changed for the better just by offering up your own life, just by saying yes to God over these past 18 years. So I don't know if Larissa or Liberty have anything that they want to say. I love your mama. Um, I just want to say that I love guys. Wait, we can't hear you. You're so pretty. <laughs> I like, we can't hear you. Oh, sorry. So gorgeous. Why are you so nice? Um, can you guys hear me now? Okay. Can, can you hear me now? <laughs> I just want to say that I love you guys and appreciate you and I'm grateful for what you instilled in my life. Um, I appreciate bringing in a village of family and of guidance, and I can't wait to share my wonderful blessings in the life, the years to come, and I pray for many more anniversaries. Yeah. I'm still waiting for my she house. choppy shot. Libby? Uh-oh. Oh, Larry. Sorry, honey. Um, I just want to say that I love you guys. Really do appreciate you guys. Um, Even when I get on your nerves. <laughs> sure. Um, <laughs> and uh, appreciate everything that I have from both of you. And just you talking about my looks? <laughs> <laughs> and just everything. I just love you guys. We love you too. Amen. Love both of y'all. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thank God yeah. for you. We, we wouldn't be able to do what we're doing if we didn't have the, the girls we had, the kids we had, because y'all put up with us. You put up with all our <laughs> running all over the place, and, you know, you never complain. I, I just want to say thank I thank God for y'all. And you're going to be blessed for it. And you're blessed for it now because, you know, you could have complained, and but you didn't. You guys lined up and helped us flow in the ministry. So thank you for everything. Yeah, we, we appreciate it. I want to just say that we appreciate our girls and, and little Larry too um, yes. for, you know, just bearing through it all. I know it's not easy uh, being yeah, PKs. <laughs> you already label and, and we acknowledge that. But um, we love you very, 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 very much. Yeah. And um, thanks for sharing, being willing to share us with the world because, you know, other Absolutely. people call us mom and dad too. And, but um, you're our babies yeah. and we love you with all our heart. And you've seen it. You've seen us do it all. You live with us, <laughs> so you see. You see everything. But we just thank you for being patient with us as we are um, parenting you the best way we know how, uh, through the leading and the guiding of the power of the Holy Spirit. Because that's the only way. There's no manual for this. But we thank you for being patient with us as we um, uh, do all that we do. We thank you. May the Lord strengthen you, and He will bless you for it. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Love y'all. Appreciate this. This is this is powerful. I wasn't ex we wasn't expecting this. We really wasn't. We just always gonna get a good word, powerful word of God, and you know. But oh, wow. this is just unique. This Overwhelming. Is... It's fun day Sunday. Fun day Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> Thank you, mom and dad. Okay. You have something to share? I said what I had to say. You don't have exhortation? Oh, no, I didn't know. Well, no, I'm not even. <laughs> I'm not even going to try. I mean, I think we got everybody. Did we get everybody? Because I, I, I didn't know. We didn't yeah, want to shut. We them. did. Okay. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, Pickles. What the world? Uh, yeah, I'm not even going to try to preach because um, everybody really did preach. Um, you know, and that wasn't even meant to be a joke. That was. And all, you know, because we're here, 
to honor y'all. Um, but I do want to give you what the Lord gave me. Um, when we talked about faithfulness, we talked about characteristics of faithfulness. We talked about the heart of faithfulness, which we talked about y'all being it. We talked about the benefits or the rewards wow. of faithfulness. But I think we'll do God a disservice if we don't talk about how to stay faithful or how to remain faithful or how to be faithful for us who are struggling with it. And really, there's seven questions. You know, at the end, how many know we're going to stand before him? We all got to stand before the Lord. You know what he's going to judge us on? He's not going to judge us on how much money we had in the bank. He's not going to judge us on how many cars we had, how many nice shoes we had, how many weeds we had. Hello, somebody. How many jobs we had. You know what he's going to judge us on? One thing. Faithfulness. Our faithfulness. Come on. Amen. And that's what he's going to do. That's and what so, so I want to just throw these questions because really we're in preparation for the final exam. The final exam is not here, but it's when we stand before him. And I know Larissa's in school right now and Nicole just came out. They know, and some of you been in school, them final exams, come on, we all had them. There's no way to avoid them. And really, that's the big test. So we are setting ourselves up for that big test. And I don't know about you, but I want to hear a well done. Amen. You know what I mean? And, and so... There's going to be some questions that we're going to be presented with, and we need to really not wait till we get there to answer them. We answer them by the lives we live here. And the first one is, do we possess the right values? You know, kind of, me and you were talking about that earlier, Apostle Larry. And, um, you know, you can if you're taking notes, take them, um, because we are word-based. So it says, a faithful person knows what's important in life and what isn't. Remember the old saints would say, only what you do for Christ well, last, and we never understood that when you were new into this thing, but the older and the longer you in this thing, that really means everything now, you know? A faithful person knows what to invest their lives in and what not to. You know, when you're grown and you're young in this thing, yeah, little party over here, party over there. In other words, a faithful person knows what really matters, all right? And a faithful person knows what's significant and what isn't. The scripture I gave us was Proverbs 28 and 20. A faithful person will be richly blessed, but one eager to get rich will go will not go unpunished. And so we in a world, Apostle Larry, where most people are chasing money, and this scripture really ain't talking about that, it's actually saying the opposite. Are oh, you hearing me? That we shouldn't be eager to be chasing money. So when you're faithful to God, money's not your focus. You're not chasing money. You're chasing after the things of God. Amen. And it's easy to get twisted. Come on, because we know money, you know, it, the scripture says money is the answer to all things, all matters. But we got to be careful that we don't allow, watch us here, being driven for money drives us away from being faithful to God, cause us to miss church, cause us to miss services, cause us not to be there because we rather chase the money. Come Amen. on. And he says, if you're faithful to him, you're going to get blessed. So we need to look at it. So the first thing is, the first question I got to have the answer to is, do I possess the right values? Is God really first in my life? Or is it my business? Is it my job? Hello, somebody. Here's the second thing. When we're talking about being judged or tested on our faithfulness, do I care about the interests of others more so than my own? I mean, no, that's, we're going to have to answer that. Amen. And not just with our lips, but when we get there, can I just go there? When we get there face to face with him, it's no more talk time. It's based on the actions that you perform down here. Ah. See, some of us, we can talk our way out of everything and you can't keep going through life like that because it will catch up with you eventually. And so there's an old saying called actions, what? Speak louder than words. So we're going to be judged by every word, but also what? Every deed. When we get up there, it won't be words when we go face to face with him. He'll be doing the talking. You have been faithful that which is many. Come and joy. Come on. Then come and have the welcome to the joy of the Lord. And remember I said yesterday, there are going to be positions in heaven. So God loves us all the same, but our position in heaven will be based upon our faithfulness here on the earth, come on. So am I, am, I, am I taking my life looking out for others? That's why we, whenever I hear hope 
and Denise talk about our ministry and our covenant, they always say we mission minded because that's what that means. We're not all about us. Come on, it's nothing wrong with us having nice things, but we can't have nice things have us. Mm. Amen. Amen. So God's going to judge us on our faithfulness and our relationship towards other people. That's why he never gave us all one gift because he don't want you thinking you don't need other people. How you treat and how you respond to the needs of other people and how faithful you are to that will determine whether or not God calls you faithful, come on, in the interest of other people. Remember, Philippians said, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. What is that? The mind of Christ is esteeming others, what? Above ourselves. Amen. So God says faithfulness is proven by our, by others, watch this here, by our taking ours, what we have, and freely giving it to other people. Mm. Wow. Here's the third thing he's going to judge us on. And these are the things we need to be working on now. So I'm just putting questions out that we need to make sure that we now get these things answered while we live in. So you may not be all the way there. I need to work on it. If I'm selfish, I need to stop being selfish. Come on. If I'm just about me. Nah, because remember, we talked about being a faithful servant. Well, you can't be a servant if you don't look out for the interests of other people. That's what makes a servant one who looks out of the affairs for somebody else. Serving. Yeah. Amen. How can you love a God who you can't see and not the people that you do see? So we need to get our people walk together. I don't want to be around nobody. Well, then you're going to get judged on that right there. And God's going to say, get away from me. You work of iniquity. I never knew it. I want to hear about what you did for you and just your kids. Mm. Here's the third question we got to answer. I'm almost done. I ain't gonna be, I'm going to exhort. Do you live with integrity before, in front of unbelievers? Who do they say you are? Say it. Come on. Do they question whether or not you're saved? Mm. Do you have a real testimony where if you tell them, I used to drink, they can say, ain't no way you used to drink. Or I used to uh, cuss. Uh, ain't no way. Or you say, I used to cuss. They say, I can see that because you still do. So he's going to evaluate on how we respond because that's called your witness. So now there's no way you can be a faithful witness. Hello, somebody. If you up and down with your walk in front of the unbelief. Everybody still here? Yep. Amen. Amen. Here's the fourth thing. Promises, promises you know you couldn't keep. We're going to be judged. Do you keep your promises? Pastor, I'll be there on Sunday. Pastor, I'm going to pay my tithes. Pastor, if nobody else, I'm going to show up. Come on, somebody. If you make a promise, how many know you got to keep those promises? Amen. Can you say Amen. Amen. Proverbs 20, 25, it is a trap to dedicate something rashly and only later consider one's vows. Hello, somebody. Do you know it's easier to get in debt than to get out of debt? Huh? Well, that's what's making a false promise is. Uh-oh. What in the world does a making a, huh? What does debt got to do with me making a promise? Well, when you get in debt, what you usually do is you make a promise and I'm going to pay you on this date. Amen. That's how, watch it, debt starts with a promise. Are you keeping your promises by paying your debt? Amen. Uh-oh. Somebody say amen. 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 So it's easier to get in debt than out of it. Come on, making that promise to pay. It's easier to get into a relationship than to get out of one. Anybody can know that to be true. Hello, somebody. It's easier to fill up your schedule, come on, than to unfill it. Come on. Amen. And so what we need to do is we need to make sure that when we make promises, how many know he's a promise keeping God? Then yes. we need to our word. Remember the old saying, like our word, my word is bond. Right. Yeah. In a day now, when you tell somebody you're going to do something, we got to call them. You still going to do it? I tell people, if I tell you I'm going to do something, don't call me every day saying, yes. if I tell you I'll be there Friday at 12, I'm coming. Come on. Come on. But Come on. we're in a day where because of the uncertainty and, and the unfaithfulness that now you got to send a reminder text. You ever notice that even businesses do it now? This is just a reminder that we'll be at your house. But back in the day when we came up, if somebody said something, you can write it down. It was money in the bank. Amen. And this wasn't even in the church. This was outside the church. How much more so should it be in the church? Come on. We got to keep our word, y'all. Amen. We tell somebody I'll be over there Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday to do this work. You, you got to come. 
Let me move on off of that one because mm -hmm. I ain't too happy with that right there. <laughs> I, I'm serious. I had to get myself together before church. I, I just don't like that. I because it's like I'd rather you don't say nothing right. than to say stuff you know ain't ain't true. Right. I'd rather you not call me mom and dad if you know it's not true. Come on. Oh, my wow. God. Let me say it. I'm I'm just almost sick of that. Yeah. Because really, if you're where you need to be, you ain't got to say it. Your actions let us know if you're son or daughter. Amen. Or you're faithful or unfaithful. I don't need all that. My, my, my All them titles and all that. Just show up. If you say you're going to show up, just show up. Amen. That's why I love Aunt Betty. You might say, who Aunt Betty? I got Aunt Betty and I got another Aunt Betty. She just show up. Amen. Amen. Do you develop your God-given gifts? Gosh. 1 Peter 4.10 says each one should use whatever gift he has to receive has received to serve other people. Faithfully administering God's grace in various forms. Amen. So if you don't use your gift that he gave you, guess what you're doing? You're cheating the kingdom and other people. God doesn't anoint you for you to not use your gift and to sell it to the world. Amen. I ain't hearing nobody. Lord. How many times Amen. we see that? Folks in the kingdom, they just gone. Take their gift and just leave God. Come on. And then, why? Because the world pulls up. Nah, God anoints you, and you're supposed to take that gift and share it with others, ministering to others, helping others. Come on. Amen. You can't just get your gift and just use it for your benefit so you can prosper. Hello, somebody. The next one, do you obey God's command? Are you obedient to the word of God? 1 Samuel 2, 5, God says, I will raise up a faithful priest who will serve me and do what I desire. Pastors, leaders, Christians at whole, we got to do what the Lord desires and want us to do. He'll never ask us to do something that he doesn't desire for us to do. Hello, somebody. We can be skilled leaders and communicators, but we can also be dis disobedient, and that disqualifies us from being true leaders. Somebody say, this is just an exhortation. Mm -hmm. All right now. Next, <laughs> did you pass on what you learned? You can't get everything stored up. We all got to make disciples. Woman, what I learned, I got to share it with other people. Do you know if it wasn't for them faithful disciples back in the day, we wouldn't be where we are in leadership and ministry today? Amen. That's right. Faithful men and women in the last 2,000 years. Come on, all them guys who carried on and poured out back into us and went out and made disciples and went out. Come on, the disciples who got with Jesus and went out and got people saved. And it'll be people who are not even born yet. If we stop where we are, they'll be that will affect them whether or not they get it or not. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we got to share what we have. Yes. Come on, that's why he tells us we're ambassadors. Come on, ambassadors are not supposed to be quiet. It's not good enough for you to be saved and on fire, but you're not helping nobody else get on fire and you're not helping nobody else to be saved. We are ministers of reconciliation and we're going to have to look at him in his face and he's going to say, yo, you lived a good life, but you didn't help improve nobody else's life. Mm -hmm. Somebody say, these are the things we got to start working on now. Yeah. It's nice that we all sit there, mom, dad did this. Okay, but you know how you thank mom and dad? Not only with what we did today, you go out and, come on, reproduce. Amen. You go out and you, yeah. you mother and father somebody or big brother or big sister somebody. You yeah. nurture somebody. Don't just sit there, get all fat in the spirit and sit on it. Come on. Yeah. Help us. Mm -hmm. Come on. Then we can grow the church. Oh, Help us. Stop. Help us. So you got to pass on what you learn. That's good. Jesus. That's right. I love Galatians 5.22. And 23, is, but it says the fruit of the spirit is faithfulness. Somebody say faithfulness. Faithfulness. And you know what? I believe we are faithful not only because of our testimony, but the testimonies of others. As I heard today, um, I never would have made it without you. See, see, did he catch that? So I know it, we're talking about God, the one who sang the song, but that should be true that when we're fully being used by God, taking what we learn, Others should be saying the same thing. Wouldn't have made it about you, Pastor Cordy, because I was out there. I love when Say got on. I was out there in the world. But look where I'm at now. Come on. Well, what took that? It took a man to visit him when he was in, you know, come on, behind the bars and all that stuff. But then him to come out 
and now cling back to that guy because he realized this man cares about me. But let's take it one step further. He shared because that's what we got to do. And you don't pick and choose who you share with. And don't just try to share with people who got an advantage where you can get some money. Share with people who had a disadvantage to help them be, become an advantage. And now say going to have a ministry to go back and help them. Look, I was where you are. That's how we keep this thing going. Share that thing. Amen. Yeah, Come on. That's right. Thank Amen. you, Lord. That's right. Plan C. Snitches talk. Throw it. Snitches talk. I had to get that in. Amen. Somebody say praise God. Amen. Praise God. And so that's all I really want to give you. You got to be able to answer them questions. But here's what I'm telling you. Not when you die. You need to work on that right now. Because yes. that's how he's going to test and judge your faithfulness. Yes. I didn't want to go before you long because we already went long enough. Mm. So, I, like I said, Larry, know I always keep a word, but I'm also sensitive to time. Well, let me say this here, to the spirit. Sometimes the spirit won't always let me be sensitive to time. Amen. Because I don't never restrict the Holy Spirit. I, just, I want you to hear what I'm saying. So anyway, that's all I got right now to celebrate this great man. Ooh. When I look at these questions, I know they share what they have with others, not even their word, but their resources. Yes. I know they take time to develop their gifts. That's why Monette used to be mad at me when she would want to just do one or the other. Amen. Amen. I'm talking about her giving and she trying to send me some something now. Pay attention, girl. You give too much. So anyway, my point I'm saying, <laughs> nobody can give too much. Amen. She know I'm just messing with her. Amen. That's just her heart. Couldn't even wait. You know, givers can't wait. <laughs> I remember one time the pastor was preaching. I ain't, I couldn't wait till he finished preaching. Pastor Eccles, he'll be at a revival. Holy Spirit said, man, go up there and sow a $400 seed and then tell him others were following. While he was preaching, I walked up. You don't walk up when they preaching in word of faith. But I walked up and he looking at me and I'm looking at him as he looked at me and I put my hand down. I said, hey, man. He said, yeah, what's up? The Holy Spirit said, take an offering right now for our building. And he told me to start it off with $400 and many will follow me. Mm. Man, you got to hear me. I was, you heard of the movie The Longest Yard? Yeah. Okay. That was the longest walk. <laughs> yeah. And then to... got up there. You and remember, I gave my 400 and I said many will follow. The first minute, nobody got up. About two minutes later. So then it went from the longest walk to the longest minute. And then, <laughs> and then finally, bam, one got up. Then bam, everybody got up. At the end of the service, he walked up to me and said, That's God. Let me help you. When you are a faithful servant of God, you just can't help but to give. Come on, not only your suffer away, your resources, whatever it takes, good, because you realize all that I have belongs to God. Come on. And I want to just challenge you today that all that we heard, we said they are it, so we want to be it too. If we want to be it too, we need to keep these questions. Some of you didn't even write it down, so you're, you're going to forget soon we leave. You should have wrote them down. Say, you know what? I'm going to be honorable there. I'm going to share with others. Glory to God. I'm going to keep the commands of God. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody said, I'm going to develop my gift because when you stop learning, you stop growing. And when you stop growing, you think you arrived. And once you think you arrived, you have arrived in the, watch it, in the arena of pride. Come on. Come on. So you got to keep growing. Keep going. Amen. The more and more I know, the more and more I realize, Sister Betty, I don't know. Yes, sir. Glory to God. Do you keep your promises? That might be something you're struggling with. Work on that. Because once we go face to face with him, he gonna say, "I want to hear on it." He gonna be like, "Uh, -uh talk to the hand." That's our problem. Some of us we talk too much. We need to just be quiet and do more. Come on, my God. Because okay. your action speaks louder than your word. I thought this was an extra thing. It really is. And one way to bless your man and woman of God: less talking and more walking. Amen. Because Amen. that's what makes them who they are. Amen, somebody. They don't talk the talk. They walk the walk. Amen. And that's what I love the most about them. They're faithful. Yeah. And whatever they do. Everything. We don't always got to agree, but we got we already got. But, <laughs> see, some of y'all don't really know. Sometimes me and Larry, and I'm going to call him Larry because I be definitely Larry talks. Just about every morning. He don't always like what I tell him. Yeah, you been on your bike this morning? I, I want to hear all them excuses. Get on the bike. Get on it right now. 
He'll tell you, because I love him. But because he's faithful to God, we got a real relationship. Amen. I can say this. Death's going to do us a part. I can't, you know, I can say that because I know we cut from the same coat. Amen. Amen. We ain't going nowhere. For y'all who don't know, oh, he loved Larry and Monette more than anybody. Larry probably get it. No, a, let me stop. Ain't no problem. Larry get it from me more than anybody. So that's why I say you got to get it sometimes. I guess Larry said, well, if I got him, <laughs> because he realized I love and love calls you to do it. It doesn't mean Larry is sinning. It doesn't mean that Larry is, all, but he has a father. Y'all got to hear me because we're in a day now that as soon as you get challenged with something you don't necessarily want to hear, then faithfulness goes out the door. Come on. So I don't want y'all to think our relationship is just about us blessing each other. What it is, we do. But we're also truthful. Yes. And then that, that's a testament of their faithfulness. That they can get, they can watch it, they can give it out, but I want y'all to know, them two can take it too. Amen. Amen. So the next time that one of them try to tell you something, just realize, you know what, they doing this because they love me. Because true submission only starts at the disagreement. And you can never, ever be truly faithful if you can't handle a disagreement. Amen. That's why many have left. Yeah, that's right. yeah, I love what I saw with Say and Hope on the screen. My wife said, that's family. But at the end, then she said, that's why Larry be hitting you. You know, and then she cleared up. I want y'all to know that what he's talking about, bang, bang, bang. I ain't no problem with that. See, we got to stop being plastic. Oh, mm -hmm. can I just go there? See, <laughs> you'll never be in a faithful relationship being plastic. You got to be real. I'm glad y'all did what y'all did because we got to stop being plastic. Mm -hmm. Say so put his thumb up. His other thumb can't go up because Larry knocked it down. We got we, and then some over there. Oh, I can't believe they act like that. Stop being plastic. Come on. Oh, come on now. I know mom got up there and said them two, she never seen them argue. I have it's not about you arguing, it's how you do it. Hey, any two that is gonna be together yeah. that long ain't always gonna agree. And and I'm gonna tell you this here, mom know what to say to him when he when they ain't acting right. What the World is <laughs> I see mom get with him. I see mom get with Liberty. Oh, yes, I did. That's a mom, that's a grandmother. Liberty no, no, you don't remember how we was in Cracker Barrel and you ain't get your way. I said that's a grandma. We need the grandmoms to be grandmoms again. The moms to be come on. We 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 got we got to be in fight. And that's right. My kids ain't never did nothing. Come on. I'm under my message, but I'm talking to some parents out here. Yeah, yeah. Come on, because watch this here. If we don't give them what we're supposed to give them, we are hurting them. Yeah. Yes, sir. And it's the same thing in your relationship with you and your pastor. They're not always going to feed you at Old Country Buffet. Sometimes they're going to just feed you the old butt-kicking buffet. <laughs> and you got to know it's done out of love. Yes, sir. Amen. That's good. Can somebody hear me. That's good. Recalibration. I share it again, Pastor Larry. Man, sometimes I don't have time to work out. Ask him what I say. Well, you need to get up earlier. I don't let him get away because you we because I love him and I understand. You know, he's working over there with hope. He's working at a school. He's working with little Larry all day. Monette's they work work. I you gotta work out. Amen. I'll he'll tell you. And then but dad, but I man ain't trying to get up earlier. This morning we called each other. I'm on the bike. You know what he said? I'm riding my bike too. He listens. Come on. And I said, Larry, Pastor Larry, we can ride the bike and talk at the same time. We hit two birds with one stone. Yes, we then did. I got all happy. I forgot my time was up. He said, I like, <laughs> <laughs> we, but here's the only thing I'm saying, y'all. Let's let's keep our word. Let's share what we have with others. Because God's gonna sit us like stand us up one day. I don't even know if He's gonna sit us down. I think we're gonna stand up. Stand before. We're gonna stand before Him. We stand before Him. Yeah. yeah. And then on that day, it's no talking from. It, it's no dialogue. Mm. You'll be judged on every word and deed. That That's day, powerful. He'll be doing the talking. That's powerful. Mm. That's real. And guess what He's gonna be talking about? What we talked about the last four days. Sister Betty said it. Your faithfulness. Yeah, we want to hear good and well. Good, well, well, watch this here. I close with that. That's why I love you, man. Hear word, man. You want to finish this up, like, because you sure put the ice on the cake. Watch this here. My son just brought it home. We want to hear well done, 
Watch this here. Thy good and faithful. Faithful. Sir. 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 That's the conclusion of the whole matter. That's what you want to hear. That's what we're working for, y'all. Not a paycheck, not another house. I want it to hear that well done. Amen. And when we hear that, then we know we were like Jesus, Pastor Hope, because that's what he said. This is my son who I'm well pleased. Amen. We want to hear that same thing. Why did he say he was faithful even unto the uh, death of the cross? Jesus. We don't want the question to keep coming up. Is there any faithful among you? And then we don't want the other one that I talked to you yesterday. Many say they are faithful. When you got to say you faithful, then you're not really faithful. Because mm. when you're faithful, your faithfulness speaks, speaks for itself. Volumes. Yeah. The, help, Lord. The psalmist says, help, Lord. Where are the faithful? Mm. Can't find them. But guess what they're going to say? They right here in freedom. I shake out of the Amen. Thank you, Lord. I know sometimes I'm hard because I want people to want God. I'm a motivator. I'm not going to let nobody sit on a God who was faithful to us when we were faithless. Amen. So happy anniversary, freedom. 18 years. But what brought y'all here from day one to now, y'all could have turned around. But I heard the Holy Ghost told me, say this here. Storms can't stop y'all because if it did, it would have stopped Ooh. on day one. I said, Storms can't stop y'all. Yeah, I heard somebody say this to Pastor Carolyn yesterday that no one stop day by day ministries. Well, I come to tell you, nothing can stop Freedom International Worship Center, York, Pennsylvania. Nothing because of the man and woman of God having God's heart and the faithfulness that drives them. Amen. Little Larry could have been an excuse, y'all. But nah, pack it up. I remember one time we driving, and this ain't to be funny, little Larry hit Big Larry in the head. He could have been like, hey, I ain't <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I don't know. Hey, Amen. You remember that, Monette? Mm -hmm. But that ain't stopping, because I said, uh-oh, I know Big Larry. He ain't no punk. I said, let me see how this go. Pulled himself over on the side of the road, got himself together. And I guess little Larry know also in the spirit. I keep hearing, Larry, little Larry know in the spirit. I better not do that again. He's never done that again. Well, hey, man, my point I'm saying is little Larry could have been an excuse for them, a son with special needs. Didn't stop them. Mm -hmm. Never stopped them. Never stopped them. Come on, some of us, come on. Are you hearing me? We ain't got all these situations. Hello. And then, watch it. I like with Sister Betty. I remember one time, Lula, I had an issue. We prayed. Boom. Bam. We got an agreement. Guess what? They don't use that as an excuse. I love what uh, Mar said. Larry going to be famous one day. I, I really, I say it all the time. I know it. See, some people don't know. I, I, I don't know when, where, how. But I love Sister Betty. She sent it to the spirit, too. She'll pray for that boy all the time, too. I'm telling you, little Larry will leave his mark on this earth. Oh, definitely. The same way he left it on Big Larry's head. That day. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to say happy anniversary. Oh, man, oh, man. <laughs> and, <laughs> and look, he stayed faithful, little Larry. He put him out the van. Come on, give up on him because he made a mistake. Little Larry made a mistake. Yes, he did. Come on. But, I, but I know one thing. Let me tell you the mistake Big Larry made. And we do the same thing with God. If you ignore little Larry too long, your boy. You get your attention. We ought to thank God that God ain't like little Larry. I'm telling you, I see it all the time. You better you better pay attention to Larry just like we need to pay attention to the things of the kingdom. Because Man. I'm telling you right now, little Larry, y'all better hear me. Comprehends very well. Yes, he does. He'll try to talk to them. He'll try to tell them I want that tablet. They'll try to act like they talk in the spirit. They can be praying in tongues. He don't care. Larry going to get what he wants when he wants it. That's I want right. your attention now. That's right. I hear the Holy Ghost say, I want your attention. He just ain't going to smack you like that. Come on. And then finally, watch this here. Big Larry, give up. Hear the phone. <laughs> he be fighting it. Hear the phone. But you know what I love about them? 
how they share their family with us. Like even that, like he getting on my nerves right now, dad. Some people be scared to say, because I know he do. But here's the thing here. I love that because it's real relationship. Amen. And so guppy guppy, I saved the best for last. I feel you. I see you as your dad say, I see you guppy guppy. He's faithful. He's faithful, grabbing that tablet every day. We need to learn faithfulness from life. Guppy, guppy, my man. Let's stay faithful, y'all, and let's follow it. At this time, we're going to take uh, our offering. I know y'all got regular tithes and offering. Y'all get that in. But in addition to your tithes, let's, let's do a, another offering. We did an offering for every service so far except for one. I just went on and it's paid broken barrel. So we're not taking one. This offering goes to the church the ministry. So the district of tithes and offering. Let's do that now. Amen. Glory to God. And we love y'all. And so I'm going to turn it back over. My wife can pray with the offering. I'm done. Anybody get anything out that exhortation? Yes, thank you. Amen. Amen. Y'all got mighty quiet. Like, ooh. Ooh. Well, sing. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Come on. I just wanted to give you something to think about because we don't want this to die today. It ain't over. It's just beginning. We want the faithfulness that lives in these two great leaders. I really believe if God was writing another Bible, they will be in it. It'll be a chapter on the new swans. Oh, wow. Hallelujah. Wow. I, I really believe that. Uh, I really believe, not believe, I found out and fully convinced that when mom said, you and my son and daughter and your wife are alike, he was on it. Now, when she first said it, I was like, yeah, right. Ain't nobody serving like us. She's right. Mm. I told Apostle Larry, mm -hmm. I might have turned around on that snowstorm. Judge me all you want, because you would have too. Damn. So I give him, you know, y'all did the shoe. Who would have turned around on that? <laughs> Who turned around on that first snowstorm? Take your shoe off. <laughs> um, Take yours off. You know, I'm good. Not well, it. go get one. Go get go one. Get yeah, go get one. Come on, I'm ready to put y'all through the faithfulness test. We done. How many of y'all know if it was a blizzard, you had to drive two hours, go get a shoe, because you should. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. You know good and well. I'm going to show y'all how faithful y'all are. Why is it the wife went to get her shoe? You're going to start it, and then we're going to finish it. And this ain't no game. Possible something else. This ain't no game. Now, if you know good and well, that first time, not knowing if anybody was going to show up two hours in a blizzard, Come on, somebody, put your shoe up. If you know, you would have turned around. <laughs> Everybody put a shoe up. Look, Sister Betty, put a shoe up. That goes to show you. Watch this here. The shoe says, keep stepping and your faithfulness. Yes. Uh, yes. Hey. Hallelujah. Because I'm telling you, Apostle Larry, I told your old bishop, ain't nothing wrong with them. They got faith. You asked me to do the faith conference. I told, asked my wife. I said, you should have I told them that. You should have had them do the faith conference. Because I wouldn't have done it. Now, I would do it where I'm at. In the beginning, and I had faith, I just want to say, keep marching on. Our shoes are prophetic that we're walking with y'all. We love y'all. Father, we pray over the offering that we just received. We pray now, God, that you will multiply the seed that was sown. Thank you for those who are faithfully paying their tithes, helping us to do what it is that you're calling us to do. I thank you for everyone who sold a seed to Sister Betty's, everybody who sold in. And now, Lord, because you said this is a time of increase, I thank you that we took the TV back that we got and got them a bigger TV because we heard the prophetic word of increase. Wow. And I thank you that we had had to wait for more money to come in, but we just knew it was the right thing to do. We could have reordered something similar, but you spoke to us and said, get even a bigger TV than the 55 inch and even put more seed into them because we heard you because when you faithful over that, which is least, you'll give them more. And so I thank you, Lord, for the increase. Ha, she called on the bus. That's coming on them. And this will not just be for a moment. It'll be for a lifetime. In mm -hmm. Jesus' name, increase everyone who sold every a penny, a dime, a quarter, a dot, whatever into this. 
For Father, we know it is more blessed to give than it is to receive. So I thank you for the harvest that we all have coming because we sow into good ground. I thank you for our accounts being well filled. Hallelujah, full to capacity for we realize the word abound means to be filled, to be rich. I thank you we'll all be made rich, meaning having more than enough so that not only we can have our needs met, but we can help others supply their needs in Jesus' name. Amen. I don't know if there's anything else, but I just felt like, whoa. I mean, because we're spiritual. And thank God for the games and all that. But I like what Larry, Larry's like. I just thought, and then I was like, oh, I wasn't going to say nothing until you said that. Then I said I had to say, I was going to say, that's all she wrote. The pencil broke. But when Larry said, I thought we are going to get this word, I, I got convicted. Because we are a word-based church. We're going to have fun, but Everything we do is based on the word. We love y'all. Love and ain't nothing y'all can do about it. Thank all y'all for pouring out your hearts. Wow, that was real. We love you too. So whatever we got next on the agenda. We don't have anything next. When when uh, Hope, Denise, and I met, our goal was for you guys to know how much we appreciate you. Well, we know. Yeah. If right now I feel real heavy. Overwhelming. I'm like, good yeah. lord. Overwhelming. Thank you. God. This what Appreciate a celebration. Yeah. Wow. Sometimes you don't think about what you until. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Until so somebody will say it. You just do it. Yeah. Then they make you look back. And you're like, man, I must have been crazy. And my family in a snowstorm. But the storm that I'm in now, I can't get out. It's called God. He got us, man. I love this storm. Love it. Won't be nowhere else. He's been so good to me. Yes. Thank you, Thank you, Lord. Thank y'all. Thank you for, for reminding me of what he's done for me, where he brought me from. You know what? Put that song on, man. We got to end with a song because this was too good to caught up in the fellowship. Jesus, your love is so amazing. Thank all y'all who stood in every service, Sister Betty, Hope, and Denise. Thank y'all. Um, yeah. Jesus. Say, Angela, April, all y'all. Mom, all y'all stayed in every service. Ah, we started strong and we finished strong. Amen. Yes. Amen. We love y'all, man. I, I know I, I could talk about y'all all day. I know everybody could have. And I thought we were ready, ready to go there. I said, oh boy. We're going to be here all day because it's hard to cut off. Notice my wife ain't giving nobody two minutes because, man, y'all too good for two minutes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Mm, 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 mm. All y'all did a great job too, running the service. Thank you. Yes. I know what she went through over here. She's getting on my nerves on some stuff. Why? Because I ain't happy. <laughs> I, you know, I want to be husband and wife. I got to focus on the service. Huh. Oh, that was really good.
Yeah, maybe the microphone is not working or something. Connected. All right, well, praise the Lord. Hey, hey prophetess. Good to, good to have you join us. We're actually just finishing up, but we're so glad that you were able to share your love for the new swans that we all have by coming on to be a part. So thank you. Love you so much. Wish we could hear your voice. <laughs> Well, all right. Oh, look, she's saying something. Hold on. She's talking. It's a blessing to be with all y'all. And... That is not <laughs> I love Apostle. Hold on. Uh, Monette and Larry, I love you. And Apostle Park, you're just the greatest apostle in the world. Oh, Thank Lord. You. <laughs> Amen. We, we won. I spoke for her. Amen. She told all me to right. greet y'all in the master's name it's of funny. Jesus. Yeah, she probably didn't get to connect her audio, bless her heart. Um, but love you guys, and I'll let you go. Thank you for all that you've done, and we appreciate you more than you ever know. Sister Betty sitting on top of the world again. That's what I'm talking about. Sitting on top of the world. Ah. <laughs> Let's get back to eating, sitting on top of the world. Hey, I'm ready to throw the basketball up there so you can do a dunk, because I'm way down here. Uh -huh. She said, hey, don't eat. I'm hungry. She said she oh, wanna dump she, something to eat. Okay. She, bye, y'all. Larry talking about. Larry talking about we four. We hungry. Thank you, sister. Buddy. I'm out.